Well, Wally here with you again, and today I want to talk to you about the old classic, the Mountain Rescue's favourite, the best known outdoor brand if you're into the outdoors seriously, Buffalo. Stay tuned. So guys, I specifically want to talk to you about the Buffalo Mountain Shirt. Dun, dun, dun. This is it. Uh, uh, if, if you're into the outdoors, guys, and if you, you know, you've know you been knocking about adventure centers or doing anything like that, or you know, in a hill walking club, you're bound to have, especially in the UK, I don't know how if, if Buffalo has ever made it as far as, as America, but definitely in the UK uh, and Ireland. Buffalo is considered, and rightly so, the top, top of the line uh, outdoor clothes, okay? They're very, uh, they don't have a big range, okay, at all. They have very, very small. They're very specialized in what they do. And they make this type of uh, a shell garment here that generally has some sort of uh, fleece lining on the inside, okay? So, this is actually not a Special 6 mountain short. It's not even a mountain short. I always thought it was. This is actually what they call their Tech Max, Tech Max short, okay? So, I bought this in 2001. 2001, and the only thing that has happened to this is that about two weeks after I got it, I ripped it here on a pallet, uh, and that's it. I've never done anything else to it, okay? Is it, and I have worn this a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, okay? So, the, there are Pertex either, okay? Which is not, it's showerproof, okay? I'm gonna say it's showerproof. Uh, but quite, quite big showers, you know? It's an, if I'm wearing this and I was out in the hills, I would eventually put a Gore-Tex outer shell on top of it. Uh, this one has a hood. Because the hood, actually, I actually took this off uh, a Montane jacket that I had, uh, a Montane Extreme Smock, I think it was called, that I had. And uh, I actually swapped a Montane Smock for something else, but I couldn't find the hood. But I found the hood, uh, but a year later I found the hood, and I just popped it onto this. And it stays on this, and it has never come off. So, what we're looking at is we're looking at a Pertex fleece, oh, no sorry, we're looking at a fleece pile on the inside okay now this one is this one is more designed for being stationary for not moving okay so it's got the standard classic I'll put this on for you guys make more sense they are actually designed to be worn against the skin but I've never read really in Ireland and all. I've never. What I suppose? No, I've I've never really. I've always worn a light wicking t-shirt of some description or a thermal underneath it. So you zip them up the sides. So this is smart, guys. Okay. So over the head, zip them up the sides. You can see the difference there. That's the colour it used to be, as opposed to that's the colour it is now. Okay. I always regretted not getting a green one, but I actually got this one half price. Still cost me a hundred and fifty something euros. It's a lot of money back in the day. I was only getting into instructing. I was only just finished my instructor training. Okay, so over the head, two way zips at the sides. And that, that is basically your venting system, okay? So, get a wee bit warm, get your fingers up, open it up, get some air in at the side. And exactly the same on the other side, okay? So, this is the fit. We got a nice big map pocket here at the top. Okay.
and a nice high neck in it. Okay. When you get the hood up, now this hood is exactly the same as a buffalo hood. I did have a buffalo hood before. That's how it works, and which is this is quite nice. It's not raining, but it's a little bit cold. You can pull pull the hood in tight around your neck like that. And that's the fit of it. Now, longer in the back, so you can sit and stuff, okay? Stops the wind from getting up your back. It has these hand warmer pockets that are, of course, fleecy lined. And it actually has a tensioning strap on the inside. No, it's not a tensioning strap. It has a strap on the inside that just pulls the whole thing tight in, in around your waist here. And this is actually designed, guys, so that you put on your rucksack and you take your waist belt and you clip it through that, okay? So that you can still put your hands in and use them as a warmer pocket, all right? You know, so that your your uh, your rucksack waist belt is not cutting it off, okay? And I didn't actually know that for a very long time. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know what I was looking at. Probably on Amazon, or I was probably looking to replace it or looking to get a green one. And uh, and I read, oh yeah, it's got the waist buckle strap and all. And I was like, I didn't know that. That makes so much sense. It makes so much sense. And it is completely practical. Okay, so I got this one in 2001 or 2002. Okay, so it is potentially 16 years old. And it is completely functional. Okay, Ex except for this little bit here. Except for that and that. Okay, but that happened literally. We bought it. Myself and Siobhan went to Italy, to the Alps, uh, I was lifting up a pallet maybe two weeks after I bought it and I caught that on a nail. Okay? They are rightly regarded as the top of the line outdoor gear and it's why you see people wearing them who, it's why you come across them, you come across people wearing them, especially in mountain rescue circles and stuff like that because they are bomb proof them, absolutely bomb proof so if you can find one guys if you can get I think I think they probably run about 150 between 120 and 150 pound now so uh, I'm just going to clean the glasses so if you find one and you're looking for a really 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 good sort of all-in-one coat get one of these nearly all-in-one coat I would say so, Buffalo, thumbs up. Buffalo, you want to send me a new one for free? That'll be class, and I'll test it out for you, no problem at all. Make it green. <laughs> yeah, right. Right, guys, stay frosty. Thanks for watching.